out west, we got a big one here in SoCal. Number 14, Corrado Centennial taking on Norco. And Zach, the Huskies, they might have a little bulletin board material dating back to last spring here. Yeah, man, they, they still upset. When they released the schedule, they had this one circled on the calendar. Norco upset Corona Centennial's 57-game Big 8 winning streak last season. This first L they've had in conference since 2009. And... I, Outside of that, this is a statement game for Corona Centennial, not just because they're playing Norco, but they want to, you know, show the world that, hey, you know, we're one of the best teams in SoCal. We're just as good as number one, Modern Day, number five, St. John Bosco, and number eight, Servite. And they get the Valley Sports Game of the Week down in SoCal. So there's going to be a lot of eyeballs watching these dudes. And I think the Huskies are going to put on, they're going to put on a big time show, man. And I think Izzy Carter's going to have a big game. He's a junior quarterback. He's got that drip, man. He's got that sauce. He's a big time playmaker with his arm and his legs they got a bunch of wide receivers to get the rock to but the thing that's impressed me the most with the huskies this year is the defense they got a big time front seven and i love the secondary led by Jaden mickey a 2022 notre dame commit but you look at norco real quick they got a couple of big time playmakers especially Jaden ott one of the best running backs in southern california so this is going to be a fun game i think there's going to be a lot of points scored but i think corona centennial is going to be the first team this year to put a 50 spot on norco Wow, Norco coming in, of course, 6-1 of the season. As you mentioned, this would be a tough out for either side there.